recovering from it. From, from hi, oh, it's Gail. Hi, Gail. <laughs> hi, Miss uh, Brookshire. How you doing today? Um, well, thank you. Please tell us briefly about your experience with uh, virus. And first, I'm so sorry that you contracted COVID. Absolutely. Yeah, me too. But uh, I, uh, I've been walking around since the COVID out there. I didn't go anywhere. I wasn't doing anything. But uh, it just so happened that, um, well, my sister had passed from COVID in November. So, so. Yeah. And uh, so I, my family had already been reeling through this, you know, pandemic. And um, I was doing everything I thought to make sure I didn't get the COVID. But I mm-hmm. don't know how I got it. But I was starting to feel sick in January. I think that uh-huh. part of January. And, but I thought it was like a normal cold, you know. Okay. And then my symptoms wasn't going away. I was taking everything to try to get them to go away and nothing was working. And so as I started getting worse and worse, I was like, oh, what's going on? And then my next door neighbor told me that she had COVID and had just gotten out of the hospital and she had to get a plasma transfusion. Wow. So, yeah. So that was making me a little more leery and trying to figure out what's going on. So I told myself I need to get out here and get a test. So I went to get my COVID test on the 3rd of February. And then the doctor called me on the 4th telling me I was positive. Okay. I was in denial because I didn't want to have COVID. I was like, no, this is just a regular cold. It was in denial. Yes. In denial. I, I literally was living in a denial and suffering in silence and, you know, having the fear that, no, this can't be COVID. Because like I said, my sister had just passed from COVID. Right. And I thought I was doing everything to protect myself. So how the situation got to where I found out about virus then, my cousin from Chicago called me and asked me, did I get on a, a conference call the night before? And I okay. told him, he didn't know I had been diagnosed with COVID. So I texted him back and said, no, I wasn't feeling well. I was asleep. And so I missed the call. What was the call about? He told me he was, I told him I had COVID and he immediately called me because we was talking in text. He immediately called me and said, well, I was calling you to tell you, let you know I had something that kills COVID. And I was like, okay. how can I get this? I need it, uh, you know. Again, I was suffering in silence because I what made me pay attention with my COVID was I had this migraine headache that was really pounding me. And then I had this cough that was had my whole body aching in pain. Mm. And, And so between the cough and the headache and then coughing up the mucus and then I saw blood in my mucus and uh-huh. that really scared me. I'm like, why? What's going on with me internally? And then to have him reach out to me. With yes, a that was a God moment. It that was, was a God, God moment. moment. Yes, yes, yes that was a God moment. when you got the product? Oh, God. I got the product. Well, I got on the call the next day and I, I heard Norman's testimony. Okay. And Norman was saying that he had COVID and his grandson had COVID and that he had, now they were better with the virus. Then. So they opened up the line out the, on the call and I had to let him know that I needed that product. And that, and it just so happened that Norm was in my same town. I, well, oh. I was told that he, I'm in Savannah, Georgia, was told that his son actually was in, in town and they would get me the product when they got off of work. And then I talked to Norman. He said he moved to Statesboro, which was an hour away from Savannah now. But he he heard me on that call and I was coughing. I, I mean, the cough, we couldn't have had this conversation without me coughing. Wow. Okay? In between every sentence or at, during every sentence, I was coughing so bad. Wow. Because my lungs were just full of mucus and the yes. COVID was taking this control. And so Norman said he was coming and he bring me the product. He got to my house that Saturday night at eight o'clock that night. I was on the phone with him. His wife came to the door, gave me the product, and he told me to spray it in my mouth, spray it in each one of my nostrils, spray some in my hand and rub it around my face. And and as soon as I did that, as soon as I did that, the coughing stopped and I haven't coughed since. Wow. Wait, wait, stop. Mm -hmm. You haven't coughed since. Since. Since no, you you I'm not coughing now. I have not coughed no. since. No, no. But everybody that I talked to that heard me before could not have this conversation without me coughing. So I wow. know this product works, and I know it was a godsend because wow. it just so happened I didn't have to wait till I got the product shipped to me. I yes, had somebody yes, brought it to my doorstep. Yes. 
Norman Ooh, brought okay. it to my door. That wasn't nothing but God. No doubt. Let me ask you a personal question. Yeah, mm -hmm. The good doctor is also a nosy doctor. So okay. may I ask you if you have any other comorbidities? Are you diabetic? Do you have high blood pressure? Do you have heart disease? Have, are you a, a cancer survivor? Do you have any of those things? Di I've been diagnosed with diabetes and I have high blood pressure. But okay. I've been taking, you know, other things like elderberry and all these other things, you know, to try to boost my immune system. And okay. I think that maybe have helped me not to. Well, still, I was still feel, feeling bad. I really was. I was on the yeah. brink of getting ready to go to the hospital because the nurse that called me said, if your symptoms get worse, then go to the emergency room. And I was feeling so bad, like I was getting to that point where I would go to the emergency room. But God was working things out in the background. He was making this yeah. stuff happen before I even knew I was going to need it. You see yeah. what I'm saying? And he had yeah. my cousin call me from Chicago to tell me about the product that the product was right here in my town next to an hour from me that I can get my hands on it, you know, and then to be feel so much better to get that relief as soon as I prayed that that's my virus stand, my virus stand <laughs> in my mouth. <laughs> and so did now you yeah. as, wait, I pause. Did you <laughs> say as soon as you sprayed it in your mouth? I, I kid you not. When he got to my door at eight o'clock, I looked at my clock, my watch after I put it on my face, it was eight oh four. So I'm telling you, I have not coughed since 804 Saturday, February the 6th. I got that date in my in my memory. Wow. Yes. So immediately it went to work. So putting it on your face, it actually went into the bloodstream because the mm -hmm. skin is the longest origin organ. It immediately the absorption level. I sprayed level it in each before. nostril. I sprayed it in my mouth just like you did earlier. And then yep. I rubbed it on my face and it okay. worked immediately. So I'm a walking, talking testimony. I know this product works. You okay. see what I'm saying? No, can't nobody tell me no different because I know what it did for me. I know Amen. how I was feeling. And then yes. I know how I felt afterwards. And my family members and my friends that heard me coughing like that, the next day, Sunday, they was in all. We all were in all. You know, yes. I was doing a hallelujah praise dance here in my I house because I thank the Lord that he sent this product to me. I didn't even Amen. know about this product. I didn't yeah. know Garistan existed. And my cousin introduced me to it. And then he put me in contact with Norman. And Norman was right here in my town. I didn't have to wait for it to be shipped to me. He brought it to my door. So I it. thank Norman every day that I yeah. feel like he brought something that helped save my life to my Amen. doorstep. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Norman. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Norman.